Hi, welcome back to the Sword and Pearl. Today we're going to be reading into Psalm 37, in which David contrasts the godly and the wicked. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in God, and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in God, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto him, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in him, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evildoers shall be cut off. But those who wait upon God, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yes, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the just, and gnash upon him with his teeth. God shall laugh at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but God upholds the righteous. God knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of God shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke shall they consume away. The wicked borrow and pay not again, but the righteous show mercy and give. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by God, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for God upholds him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful, and lends, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil, and do good, and dwell for evermore. For God loves judgment, and forsakes not his saints. They are preserved for ever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speak wisdom, and his tongue talks of judgment. The law of God is in his heart, none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watch the righteous and seek to slay him. God will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on God and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, you will see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yes, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of God, he is their strength in the time of trouble. And God shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Amen. Beloved, I hope that this psalm blesses you beautifully. I hope you have a stunning day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.